All right, Sunday night football this week. We got the Washington football team at the Philadelphia Eagles. Major playoff implications on the line, right? Washington wins, they go to the playoffs. They lose, winner of the Dallas, Dallas Cowboys, New York Giants game goes to the playoffs. Interesting matchup nonetheless. We know with the Philadelphia Eagles, Jalen Hurts is his quarterback. That's changed their football team. The Washington football team. It's a phenomenal defense. It's one of the best in football. Their D-line, one of the best in football. They don't ever have to blitz because these four can always get after the quarterback. This guy right here, Chase Young, insane. Insane in the membrane. I mean, right? I mean he's, he's already one of the best defensive players in football. But the good thing is for the Eagles, they have a running game with Jalen Hurts at quarterback that's a little different and special. And that's where I want to go inside the numbers powered by AWS. Washington is the only team to allow four QBs to rush for 50 plus yards in a game this season in the NFL. Jalen Hurts has rushed for 60 plus yards in all three of his starts up to this point. So this is gonna be interesting. We've seen throughout the year, Washington has had issues stopping the design quarterback run game, okay? And Philadelphia, who's just starting to experiment in this, has had some success in the Jalen Hurts era with gashing some people in this. Other thing too, is where this fits nicely for Philadelphia, listen, I don't think they're gonna beat this team with the pass game. His legs, their ability to run the ball is one of the best ways to beat this great defense. You know, you throw the ball too much and play that type of game, they're going to get to you and get a strip sack fumble or hit you as you're throwing. The ball's going to get pop in the air for an interception, something like that. When you play Washington, one of your first things is don't let the Washington defense win the game because they can do that. They're that talented. Now, this is what I want to show here with what Philadelphia can do. Philadelphia, the design quarterback runs like I've talked about has certainly gone up. They'll bring this guy back into motion, let's just say Miles Sanders, and he'll sit right here, right next to, to Jalen Hurts. But they've infused some Baltimore Ravens type run plays with Jalen Hurts into their offense. And oh yeah, Baltimore Ravens, Lamar Jackson, he ran for a 50 yard touchdown up the middle against this defense, all right? And it's a similar type play I'm about to show you. One of the great things and one of the cool things I've seen Philadelphia do the last two weeks, block down, he kind of blocks down. As he blocks down, this guy kind of goes with him because he's worried about that little gap off the edge. And then it's pull and wrap. And then it's pull and just look for work, whether he's got to wrap or kick out or move somebody that way. And then within that, they fake the little speed sweep or weak side run to the running back to get these linebackers just to pause for a second. Take a step over here because of the run fake. Oh no, we gotta worry about the running back. Well, what does that do? Now that creates great angles for these pulling blockers to cut these linebackers off as they're trying to stop Jalen Hurts, who now has the ball going up the alley right here between his tight end blocking a secondary player and these two pulling linemen he has that are gonna be looking for work at the second level. And that's proven to be very effective. Hertz has changed the way the Eagles play. His ability to scramble is special. I'm not necessarily worried about that aspect totally against this Washington football team. I think the front four will be able to handle the drop back type scramble type of things from Jalen Hurts. It's more about the quarterback design runs and the pressure they put on you that way. Washington's second, second level, the linebackers, they're not superstars, they're solid players. But I think this gives Philadelphia the great advantage to, hey, pound the Washington football defense, do that, right? Now your defense can come on the field and be really fresh and maybe get after Alex Smith in an offense that's not that special on the Washington side of the football. But I think this is one of the keys to the game that we gotta watch out for. If Jalen Hurts is running the football with quarterback design runs, good chance Philadelphia's gonna pull off the upset and win. They slow this down a little bit. I don't know if Jalen Hurts and his right arm in the drop back pass game can beat this Washington defense like that. Gonna be interesting to see on Sunday Night Football. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.